Welcome to The Bogart Effect, a Wealthy Wisdom Podcast. Please see important disclosure information at the end of the presentation. I want to talk a little bit about who are the parties like that associated with an estate plan. Obviously, mm-hmm. you have the people who have earned the money and, and have the, the wealth, but there are other people that we need to now be considering or bringing into this conversation. Absolutely. So um, in terms of when you're thinking about your estate plan, and first of all, yes, you know, typically um, you and your spouse are the owners. If it if you're involved in a trust, you're also considered the grantor. So just some you yeah, know terms. semantics there. Um, and then the first thing is you need to bring in your key advisors. So when you're thinking of your estate plan, because different decisions need to be made. Your attorney is critical, your CPA is critical, and your financial advisor is critical because your financial plan helps to put together all of those advisors together in one thing. Now, once you have done that, then we go to the next layer. And basically, when you're making decisions about your 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 plan, um, your will will establish a person that will execute exactly what you want to have happen and they're called the executor needless to say and then um, in terms of your trust your trustee will implement what you want to have done so let's dive into that what is a trustee right and and how do I select a trustee? Absolutely. So a trustee has a fiduciary duty to make sure that they're acting on behalf of exactly what your document says. If you're incapacitated, they're acting as if you would be acting. So they're acting for your best interest. And that's very important. Now, um, once you've passed away, they're acting to make sure that your, your wishes that are outlined specifically in your trust are carried out exactly. And they have a fiduciary duty to do that. So you want to be very careful who you name as the trustee or executor. Um, You want to make sure that there's not a conflict of interest. And what I mean by that is typically a trustee um, can be a beneficiary, but I would be careful there. I have seen instances where when there is someone The previous podcast was intended for general information purposes only. The information discussed is no substitute for personalized investment advice from Bogart or another investment professional. Different types of investments involve varying degrees of risk, and it should not be assumed that the future performance of any specific investment, strategy, or service will be profitable, suitable, or successful. Bogart is not a law firm or accounting firm, and no portion of its services should be construed as legal or accounting advice. There is no guarantee a client will experience a certain level of results if Bogart is engaged. Our brochure describing services and fees can be found at www.bogartwealth.com.